with 310 left. Well, this is a team that's uh, number 18 in the nation at holding opponents to 62 points per game. They do a tremendous job of switching up their defense. You see them tonight. They've done a 1-3-1. They've done a 3-2, a 2-3. Man to man, they've extended it out to half court. They picked up a full court. They hold opponents. They fluster them. They try to get them to take shots you don't want to take. But it's been the silly things that they've done to not allow them to get this game back in, you know, one, two, three points. Not rebounding. Second chance shots. Silly fouls. 30 feet, 35 feet from the basket. Easy point. Wichita State looking to close that out the line, and that has not been an easy thing tonight. They're 18 of 28, shooting just 64%. So quite a bit off of their season average of 75%, and they miss another one. Well, they came in the, over the last four games. They were shooting at 82%. Tonight is not the case. Shots get one for North Carolina Central's three. Nine point game. The Anthony Early in that zone is the nearest one to Ingram. I would stay pretty close to him. I'd say so. There he is. Quick three. Didn't get it. And then Cotton is fouled on the rebound. That's the one they needed too. Foul is going to go against Jordan Parks. His fourth. Two players have already fouled out for North Carolina Central. Cotton will go to the line where he was one of two just a moment ago. Kale with just a couple of four, three points tonight to go along with four assists and two rebounds. My goodness. <laughs> He was Greg Marshall. He, he, he can make some faces, can he? <laughs> that one was just like, are you kidding me? Knocks that one down and gets it back to 10. We've got to give it to North Carolina Central. No question. Traveling, travel issues, team coming in on different planes. Flights delayed, equipment delayed, and yet here they are within seven points of Wichita State. Three point basket. Hey, stick it around, stick it around. And Wichita State, they're going to have to find ways to put the hammer down. What, what, I think it was 16, 17 points coming out, second right. half that they were at. That's when you've got to finish teams. That's when you've got to put the hammer down, put your foot on their throat, and end the game. But yes, no question, give NC Central credit. They are sticking around and fighting tooth and nail. They well, is, they've led the second half by nine points. Six seconds to shoot. Baker for three. Oh, that's a that one down. hurts. That one hurts. Boy, Ron that Baker came around, curled around, and caught that one as he was turning in the air and knocked it down. And that's, that's, that's been open all night when they extend that zone. The corner has been the one spot where Wichita State has had some success of finding the old open three. And Ron Baker able to get it done. And this kid's going to get high flying. Anthony Early with the high flying dunk. Off the strip by Fred Van Vliet of Ingram. And the Shockers are closing with a flurry. And the foul is going to go against Dakale Cotton at the one minute mark. Every time, and this is to Wichita State's credit, every time that NC Central makes a little run, the Shockers flurry right back. Yeah, it's almost like you say, wait a second, no, this isn't going to happen. Just pick up our D, get a hand on the basketball, get this guy out in transition. Nasty. Ingram with a new season and career high, 37 points. Missed that one. He's been fun to watch. Yep. Well, Wichita State's going to get their 12th straight win 
Off again until next Sunday at 2 o'clock when they face Davidson. We'll have it for you here on Fox Kansas 22. Mikhail Cotton, great catch, and he's hammered by Ingram. So tell Takeo will go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, it's almost like a sigh of relief. Yeah. You, know, you finally get some smiles out of their faces. It's like they almost, okay, now we can have a little fun and we can breathe. NC Central stuck around and they tried. Yep. Got as close as seven points. Shocker's closing them out here. Terrell Green, McWiggins. Evan Wessel, along with Chad Rackley Field, into the game for Wichita State. Just past the 9 o'clock hour here in the Central Time Zone. Cotton knocks them both down to Kale Six. Jack Bush into the game now for Wichita State. So next Sunday against a Davidson team that comes in after taking North Carolina to overtime on the road in a game that really they had a tremendous chance to win. Good move. Real Green just didn't follow the path of the ball. It landed right by his feet. So it's ended up going to be an 11-point win for the Shockers. North Carolina Central falls to 7-3. Wichita State improves to 12-0. Gutsy the effort by North Carolina Central, a winning effort by Wichita State. Get a little break now for the Christmas holiday. And then they come back and face Davidson. This is a well-timed break right here, isn't it, Craig? This, this time of the season, grinding a little bit. You've had some nicks and some bumps and some bruises. You've gone, had Ron Baker go through a ankle sprain. It's good to have a few days where you can at least kind of just take it easy a little bit and kick back and no relax. No question. You, you had finals last week. You get a little break off of school. You know, the, their schedules work 